Today, we got an interesting one, I can't lie. And yes, you are watching 2K17 gameplay when I was official Daft Boy. If you guys don't know, my boy was a 67 overall playing against Nadex and Quill. He was 30 overalls higher, and I had just made that stretch big an hour ago. So you guys, man, if you like this throwback gameplay, drop a like. But we got a lot to get into, okay? Usually, I don't do an intro that long, but I had to give you guys the whole entire thing because, look... I cannot play 2K23 and get you guys new gameplay. I would rather run full speed into a wall than play that game in August. But anyway, man, as you all know, Dave Omigo, Duke Dennis, they all got to play 2K24 early with the NBA rookies and stuff like that. He recently posted a vlog, and it's going to speak for itself. I'll be right back. Let's roll it. What's up? What's up? What's up? Right now, hey, all the info you got so far from 2K24 is here. WL. No, I played, I played the game, so I, I, I'm, I'm already knowing what it's going to be. Nothing too crazy. Am I right or am I wrong? It's the exact same. Exact <laughs> same. See, I be knowing, bro. All right, so Dave Omigo and iPod King Carter are both saying that the game they played seems the exact same from 2K23. Keep in mind, they were only able to play one or two play now games, which we'll talk about in a second. But Jay Abridgeforth posted that, and Chris Manning responded with talk soon kissy emoji which is interesting you know what i'm saying so duke dennis said there were some things that were new dave omigo and ipod are saying it's the exact same game it's gonna be interesting okay so red city boy i believe he's the first legend in 2k15 he said y'all killing me with the creators played 2k early it's a quick match bro not hard so obviously this is a big thing to talk about there's people that have played the game and they're saying it's very similar to 2k23 power df i think he gave a good tweet he said i can't speak for other modes like my league play now or my team but for park every year since 2k15 the game has felt different for better or for worse nobody can sit here honestly and say any different so i'm not believing this quote unquote same game nonsense now like i said bro keep in mind they played a play now game the game does not come out for like three months when they played it or two months and look i'm gonna tell you guys something right now you guys know i got a little bit of inside information there's a lot of things that i was told i can't say yet at the moment due to the fact that i don't want it to maybe go back to these people and then lose their you know what i'm saying they got families and stuff like that to feed but i haven't heard anything gigantic yet okay besides the seasons thing which i told you about due to ipod kind of talking about it so i could talk about it you guys seen it two or three videos ago that's pretty big we'll be back in september to be like ah i got you for the people that were like oh bad folks just saying random things okay we'll see on september 4th bro anyway what i'm saying is there's a lot of people every year when i'm making my videos especially in the later months of the game they're like oh bad bug what are you doing talking the game's already done it's completely done it's not true you can have your opinions your emotions whatever but the actual truth, I'm telling you, you can believe me if you want to. You don't have to. I don't care. But I'm telling you, the game is not done, like actually done, until literally the game drops. You guys know? Like literally, bro, when the game comes out, they're still having to do patches and stuff. The game doesn't even fit. Like it doesn't even come out finished. So obviously, it's not finished four months before the game comes out. So what I'm trying to say is they're playing a very early stage of the game. Who knows if it's going to look anything like what we get you know in september now you guys know bro i'm the last person to be defending 2k i'm not paid by 2k my soul is not in ronnie 2k's basement although it is your girl queen plug here if you guys didn't know i did transition into a female my name is queen plug i'm from antarctica still waiting on my 2k logo and my 2k community day invite you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get in there but you see what i'm saying bro the game is not Done. Anyway, we've talked about this too long. So in the last video, we talked about 2K signing some deal with this company where there's going to be tournaments in the game. And I warned you guys, I said there is a high chance it's just for play now. Well, apparently, according to this article, it says the tournament games through one up will be something of a throwback. Singh said, which is Ronnie, with a single player on each side controlling all five members of their virtual team, as was the case from the earliest days of the game. So most likely, like I told you guys, bro, don't get your hopes up. That whole tournament thing is probably just for play now. And look, play now is not a bad game mode, but you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are watching for park and stuff like that. Now look, Phantom, who is in AMP, if you guys don't know, a big content creator group. He used to be a 2K YouTuber most of you guys know okay but i'm just prefacing all right so he posted on snapchat and obviously his boys went and played 2k early duke dennis you know he's from amp kai Sinat played you know all that type of stuff he posted on snapchat and he said if y'all knew 
what I knew about 2K24. So who knows what that is? Actually, who knows what that is? But I, I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel like it's bad. Anyway, uh, Swante posted a video and it was about people speed boosting in real life, like this basketball clip. And this is what he said. He said, see told you people can speed boost in real life keep it in 2k24 and ronnie 2k replied with we are always ahead of the curve which i guess means in some sort of way like speed boosting is going to be back obviously we knew speed boosting was going to be back anyway but it's going to be in the game okay guys if you don't like speed boosting nba live literally is a more i guess realistic game in terms of you know basketball uh, the dribbling in my opinion is pretty damn clunky but other than that bro there's no speed boosting you can't speed boost run out the same hand i'm not going to describe it all but basically what i'm saying is if you want a more realistic game i think nba live could be something you would enjoy now once again we've talked about this before but it's important because mike wayne came back last year he said it's about to go down on august 3rd 2022 it's officially been one year if you don't know who mike wing is or you don't know what i'm talking about when i say he came back he's like one of the head gameplay developers and he came back every year it's my favorite news because he actually gives us gameplay information he's talking about the game you know what i'm saying so it's been a year where are you mike wing come back Today, we need you. It's my favorite news of the entire cycle, literally over like the park trailers and all that type of stuff because I care about gameplay. You know what I'm saying? I also care about the rewards as well, which you guys know. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is hopefully he comes back soon. But last year, he didn't come back till after the gameplay trailer. And it looks like the only gameplay trailer or gameplay we're getting in the next two weeks or whatever is going to be on August 14th with the pro play stuff. So maybe he's going to wait to come back till after that. But man, that's tough, bro, if we have to wait till August 14th. But as you guys know, or if you don't know, Mike Wang is a fan of the channel. In 2018, he said, sorry, my dude, love your channel. And I said, hey, I knew you were in the Noti game, man. So hey, look, even Mike Wang's in here. Listen, Mike, I know Badge Plug is not someone 2K wants you to listen to, regardless of the passion that I have for the game, wanting to make it better. But Queen Plug is an entirely new person, all right? Affirm my gender and my opinions you know what i'm saying mike wayne come on bro listen to what i got to say all right queen plug is here to save the day all right anyway db's mod posted this on twitter and this got over a million views it says 2k14 reveals the low quality of graphics and concept art on the new console 2k14 above 2k23 below and obviously it was blowing up because kind of looks like 2k14 was better graphics Obviously not all around, you know, that's just not how it's going to be. But like the actual player models and like, I don't know, it does kind of look better. It's crazy. But anyway, Chris Manning, every time someone says something, because he's a part of 2K TV now, LD2K is who I'm talking about if you guys don't know. He says, send your feedback to 2K. And even someone like me, I'm like, bro, 2K is not going to respond to this or something like that. So he finally actually clarified why he says this all right so he said right here send all your feedback to 2k my man this guy said i just read your comment but i'm gonna ignore your question and direct you to a twitter account that only tweets commercial content promoting the game hopefully they'll help you out he said there are teams of community folks who read and collect feedback you won't get responses on it but there are teams of people on the 2k side who do this who then pass it on to the devs feel free not to but i will always encourage it so I'm actually glad that he broke that down because I was thinking that's just some generic response that he gives. Even though I like LD2K, you know what I'm saying? But it's just a generic response of like, all right, you know, get out the way, bro. Stop messaging me. Just message this company that's never going to see what you're saying. But like I've told you guys, you know, I do got some inside knowledge on the game. And I might have said this before, but I was actually told by I think two or three different people that 2K sees more than we think now just because we say oh i want this in the game and they don't put it in the game doesn't mean they're not listening all right so once again you guys know i'm the last person to defend 2k i'm giving you the honest truth here from what i've heard they are seeing a lot more apparently they watch a lot like there's an actual team of people that watch videos they look at everybody's tweets they're on social media things like that so hey 2k what's up it's your girl queen plug here get me out there get me out there i'll sign an nda but i'm not gonna you know give away my soul all right i'll sign an nda so i don't leak anything about the game but i'm obviously not gonna sell my soul for a logo or anything like that now look solo Minotti, a lot of people there's there's like 10 percent of the 2k community 
is just absolute haters of content creators like we're the worst people ever because we dropped the best dribble moves and stuff like that and by the way if you've seen me reacting to the new seasons if you're good at the game it takes you literally 30 seconds to try out a new dribble move and see if it's good or not right so those type of things is funny to me especially because bro if you lost to someone just because they went to youtube and got a build from a youtuber that means you're probably not that good okay cope cope about it you know get make your excuse ah oh, youtubers are so bad anyway this is what I'm trying to say. People are always like, oh, this 10%. They go, man, you guys asked for this, and now you don't want it. You guys asked for this. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go back to this clip of Soluminati, a huge content creator who apparently 2K only listens to content creators, right? Let's go back to this clip of him in 2K18 talking about the neighborhood. They got to make something 100 times better. I feel like when they add all this new extra shit, it make the game trash gameplay-wise because they not focus on gameplay. They focus on this new shit. We don't care about none of this. We just want to hoop. We just want to hoop. Now, I'm trying to make two points here. The first one is that people, some people think that 2K only listens to content creators, which is so far from the truth. Like I said, I have this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to listen, you don't have to. If you don't want to believe me, that's fine, bro. But I'm giving you actual truth from inside knowledge. All right. Look, 2K casuals are 98, 99% of the game. It's okay to be a casual 2K player, right? They are going to cater to 98% of their game. They're a public traded company. They are trying to make as much money as possible. You know, creating the game over a content creator, making the game super competitive and it's so hard to score. You have to be really good to score. That's not what they're going to do, bro. They're going to dumb down defense every time we want offense nerf. We've talked about this many times, okay? They're going to make the game to where even if you only play once a month, which is fine, by the way, you can run in, hold X, and dunk. You know what I'm saying? That's why paint defense is not that good. Now, the second point I'm trying to make is a lot of people will just go, y'all asked for this, and now you're complaining. Y'all asked for this. Some people do ask for these things, but there's so many different opinions in the 2K community. Saying y'all is actually probably the most annoying thing i've ever seen where people say y'all said this y'all show me where i said that and then say y'all you know what i'm saying there's so many people with different opinions on the game and even when 2k adds something like for example seasons i i'm telling you right now i'm exposing myself you can see me i think in like 2k20 saying hey fortnite season battle pass that stuff's a good idea you know what i'm saying but nowhere in there did i say hey man you, let's totally get a parrot for legend yeah, let's get a low rider for Legend on 2K23. Let's get 18 fast travel items, man. That's the seasons that we need. So just because I asked for something and 2K put it in the game doesn't mean they did it correctly at all. It doesn't mean they executed it correctly at all. You see what I'm saying? They can literally do something so wrong, like affiliations, right? We've talked about this before. We wanted affiliations back. They did not add affiliations back like we wanted. Back in the day, you got a boost for playmaking if you're if you were in uh, Sunset, you know, or shooting or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like you got a boost if you were in Rivet. You got a slashing boost if you were in Old Town. You got all that type of stuff, right? Then there were actual scenery. Sunset Beach was a beach scenery, okay? Not a volcano in the background, you know, stuff like that. So there's many things. Rival Day isn't the same as it used to be. You used to get a park for winning Rival Day back in the day rival day now is garbage they didn't they obviously they're not going to do that because they don't want to give us a new park that's too much effort you see what i'm saying they put things in the game it doesn't mean they executed it correctly if i go to a restaurant and i get a 60 dollars steak like i go to a fancy restaurant and i ask for it to be mid well or medium and it comes out still bleeding and mooing you know what i'm saying obviously that's not what i asked for i want my money back i'm a displeased customer so just because i asked for a steak doesn't mean i got the steak that i wanted you see what i'm saying anyway guys click this video right here sorry for the rant man but i hope you guys understand it's coming from a you know passion because there's so much false narratives in the 2k community and it comes back to the people that i like you know what i'm saying like i, I talk to a lot of creators and i like them and stuff like that they're actually good people so it's crazy even me you know just getting hate for actually false narratives you can hate on me for true things that's fine but false narratives is crazy. So click this video right here, bro, for 2K24 news. I think that you need to watch this. It's about 2K24 gameplay. It's not actual 2K24 gameplay, but it's news about 2K24 gameplay from Uncle Demi, who has got some sort of ties with 2K, and he's kind of, you know, telling vague information about the game. So anyway, click this, and I'm out. Peace.